Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is the 13th episode of the Basic Practice Teaching Series, a practice-oriented video series on this channel focusing on introducing some fundamental exercises for different styles. Today's video is about Xing Yi. The first thing people think of when talking about Xing Yi is its uh, strong martial power. Unfortunately, this close association with uh, strong martial power leads many practitioners to overemphasize power and neglect other important aspects like flexibility and speed. Yes, this is the individual practitioner's problem, not the style's problem. In order to ensure no compromise on the other important aspects like flexibility, fluidity, and speed, the practitioner should focus on specific movements to improve upon these aspects. Teaching you one such exercise is the goal of today's video. The exercise I will introduce today is Shu Fen Cao or Snake Separates Grass, a movement in the Xing Yi snake form. It is a totally different practice compared to all the snake forms most people practice nowadays. Some important past practitioners in the Tianjin Xing Yi community, like Li Cun Yi and his disciple Han Zi Heng, practiced this exercise. I learned it in my teenage years and I have continued practicing it to this day. I like it very much. This form can be practiced in a very dynamic way since the objective is to develop flexibility and fluidity. As I said in the beginning, this movement was practiced 40 years ago in Tianjin. Unfortunately, I do not see any other school practicing it anymore. A good practice deserves to be preserved. Let's keep it alive with regular practice going forward. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Hello, I will work with my student Francois to demonstrate one exercise it from the snake movement of Xing Yi. Okay, and uh, there's different variations, but I will show the first one first, then the second one. So let's start from here. Okay, so you just repeat this movement. Okay, so slowly now you can come back. One, yes. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's come back. To practice this one better, we should make sure. The hand is moved to the sideway more than forward backward. For example, one. At the same time, body should have a it's kind of sink down motion. Then two, three. Okay. And always try to move to the sideway a little bit more. The palm make upward, downward, and the sideway make three-dimensional this kind of circle instead of only at one level. Like slowly. Three. Four. Continue. One, two, three, four. Continue. Now move back, please. Then faster a little bit. Come to here. Yes, you can make faster a little bit. Right. Then again. Yes. Now let's come back. Let's talk about one variation. Same right here. Nothing new. But in the last moment, you can make two, one more circle. Then one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, try like this now, please. Two, three, four. Again, come back. Right, slowly. One, two. Last moment. Put a more. Put a one more circle. One, two. Yes, very good. Again. Just continue. One, two, three, four. Yes. For for the last one, what do you can do this? See, one, two, three, four. Okay, body wave a little bit more like together, okay? So, one, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four. Okay, come back again. Continue. Yes. Very good. Thank you. So make sure that the chest wave more and the body wave at the same time. The palm always move under the other arm. So one, two, three. And sometimes we need to create a momentum in order to have the force. Slow, then fast. Okay, so try last time. Yes, thank you. I hope you all find this video beneficial to your practice. Thank you for watching. See you next time and enjoy your practice.